Hi folks, this is a short video on drill bit selection. Here is a large diameter SN Gen tube. As you can see, the calipers clearly show a 14.4 diameter tube. In the drill press, we have a 14.5mm drill bit. I get asked, usually in the form of complaints, quite often, uh, regarding this issue about the drill bit selection. The classic example is this. The customer calls up saying, on your website you recommend a 14.5mm drill bit for the SN Gen, and I purchased a 14mm drill bit from you. But when I come to use it, the brass tube will not fit into the hole. You're a dud, you're a liar, you sell crappy stuff. Well, the problem is not usually the drill bit it's the blank that you're using and here is the proof after I have drilled a stable material and in this case an acrylic pen blank you can clearly see that the brass tube will slide in and out of the blank But now I will show you in the same take, so you can't accuse me of switching drill bits, what happens when you drill a timber blank that isn't stable. The cause may be that the blank has a lot of internal stress, or the timber is green, or your drill bit is blunt, causing excess heat, making the timber distort. What actually happens is the timber pen blank starts to change shape after you finish drilling the blank. The blank can cup or bow or even worse the blank can go oval shape. Now as you can see it's a very tight fit. The timber that I've drilled here is a piece of fiddleback black wood that's still a little bit green. Even though I'm using the same drill bit the brass tube is just able to fit into the hole. Here's another one that I drilled a couple of hours earlier. The brass tube won't even fit into the hole anymore. It's distorted that much. So what has happened is this. The timber being an unstable material will want to find a new equilibrium after you have altered its equilibrium position. Just remember when I have drilled it, I've removed about 85% of its internal volume. It may bow or cup or twist. When it bows or cups, it reduces the internal clearance diameter. The symptoms of this is being only able to push half the tube into the blank. When it goes into oval shape, it reduces the clearance diameter, which translates into not even being able to fit the brass tube into the pen blank. The easiest fix to overcome this problem is to drill the hole, then let it sit overnight and come back the next morning or the next day and drill the same hole in again. This method will ensure that the brass tube will fit into the hole. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. Now get off the computer and head back over to the workshop and make some sawdust. Remember, if you like this video, like us on Facebook. You can find us by searching Timberbits or hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Thank you.